Hi, I'm still John Atak. And I'm still Sammy Duck. And this is still an Open Minds presentation um, on the theme of think like a cult leader. Um, cult leaders are, you can see that I'm looking down here because I've got a little list, right? Because I'm picking it up there. Can't remember. Remember. Cult leaders are cunning <clears throat> and manipulative. It is a common mistake. And even psychologists go on television and give lectures and say, well, you see, psychopaths are more intelligent than the rest of us. It's not true. Robert Hare, who knows more about psychopaths than you could write in the Encyclopedia Britannica, says they're no more intelligent than anybody else. And I absolutely agree with him. My experience as a cult leader, an authoritarian personality, is somebody who <clears throat> really isn't necessarily that smart. They're very cunning, though. Mm. They can read how you are feeling. And they can then use that to their advantage. So you need to develop cunning. Um, sometimes called uh, being vulpine. Have you heard yeah. that word before? Vulpine? No, it's not a great word. How do you do? Vulpus. Yeah, the fox. Yeah. The fox. Foxy. Ah, right. Not as in foxy lady or anything like that. It doesn't mean... Fantastic Good. looking. It, it means uh, being cunning. So <clears throat> there's a kind of laziness, which, which, you know, if you want to be a cult leader, this is some goals you're going to have to adopt that, um, you know, certainly you don't want to be coming up with your own ideas or anything like that, wasting time, because, heck, you're busy, you're busy. You've got to be stimulated. You've got to be stimulated. You've got to have stuff going on. So you uh, plagiarize other people's work. You grab hold of ideas from other people. You kind of half remember them and spit them out. Um, like Rajneesh uh, quoting Zen stories, which actually come from a book called Zen Flesh, Zen Bones. And you find throughout his work that he's just quoting from this one book and he gets the stories wrong because he can't remember them. You know, the one about the uh, sword masters that yeah. I remember from, from my youth, that um, a young guy is adopted by a sword master and basically the sword master for 10 years bangs him with a stick at any moment oh, of the night or day. And he becomes the greatest sword master in Japan. Yeah. And that story kind of makes sense, you know, he, he can avoid yeah. blows. But Rajneesh tells it as a, as a master teaching a pupil to become enlightened. Just and, uh, yeah. It's you know. not a very good method, actually. It's not, maybe. but it, it does mean you can avoid sword yeah, I mean, it's sword a blows. flavium, maybe. But a flavium? What's that? I think the people that hit themselves, right? Maybe. Oh, that's a flagellant. Flagellant. Ah, yeah, this like is like a flagella or a, but, but a whip. Remember, you know, if you're going to be a cult leader, you just don't have to care about yeah, anything exactly. that's wrong. So you just quickly from the Flavians were actually a dynasty of Roman emperors. Oh, right. But you go, you learn something gold every day. Um, cunning, manipulative, and that leads into their idea of promises. One of the things that, that if you're going to be a good cult leader, make stupid promises. Mm -hmm. Say, yes, of course I'll do that, and don't keep them. No, never. And when you're, you're caught out, you blame somebody else. He yeah. sat there, he's like, he wanted to talk about that before. And now I did? Yeah, I think he did. Yeah. He said so. Yeah. They blame it on others. Yeah, always. So, you know, and just go, oh, I'm really sorry that I didn't, um, you know, do that. Uh, uh, but I couldn't because it was his fault. Yeah, somebody else's fault. Somebody else's fault. Redirecting blame. Yeah, redirecting blame. That's, that's, that's how you that, put yeah. it before. That's the bit he wanted. Yeah, that's what I wanted to share with us all. So, um, think nothing. But it's your fault I didn't remember that. Yeah, I know. Sorry. Yeah. If, if I hadn't fathered you, none of this yeah, would exactly. have happened. You know, let's face it. Um, think nothing of breaking a promise. If you're going to be a, a decent, non-law-abiding cult leader, then make stupid promises like, uh, I can teach you how to become a supernatural being. I can teach you how to uh, leave your body and um, make events occur. I can teach you to... Realm into the cosmic consciousness and the cosmic realm and um, be a lord over all of existence. Just make promises. Yeah. And, you know, what you end up with is well, somebody very disappointed who has no money anymore. But yeah. let's face it, they're the one that will be cleaning your bathroom and you're the one who will be going, oh, isn't it nice having gold taps in my bathroom? <laughs> I'm John Asa. I'm Sammy Duck. This has been an Opening Minds presentation. You can find out more about cult leaders not necessarily how to become one, mm. uh, on the openmindsfoundation.org. Thank you very much.